Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev, and this is Shadows Awakening. And in our last episode, we killed us a bunch of spiders. And to begin with, I wanted to show you guys how to get the next character that you can cycle through. So to do it, you need to do the quest... An eye for an eye. That's real easy. You came back? Wonderful. Ask about, uh, do you know of the bodies in the hostel? What do you know of the skeletons in the old hostel? This is the first I've heard of this. The other merchants had more to do with the hostel than I did, though. Mm hmm. Weapons, armor, supplies. The other part. Excellent prices. And this Super goes along quality. with getting the key to the uh, Akarum that we're supposed to get is the Sura Mercenary. Tell me about the Sura Mercenary who came to town. Don't know anything useful about that, I'm afraid, but I'll bet someone in town does. You came back? Wonderful! Alright, like so soon. yeah. See all the little marks here? And all we're doing is talking, to begin with. Surely, my friend, you tire of trawling the city streets in search of someone to buy your unwanted goods. Look no further. I will buy quality goods from you. Tell me what you know about the bodies in the old hostel. There are dead bodies in that place. Honestly, you'd think someone from the guild would have noticed. I suppose the building has been abandoned for a while now. Haven't seen anyone go inside since the siege started. Bring your unwanted goods to me. Tell me about the Sura mercenary who came to town. I remember seeing the Sura mercenary talking to Feyruz before he left. <gasps> and Feyruz looked mighty pleased about it too. Please, if you speak to Feyruz, don't mention I said anything. I want nothing to do with the Sura, now or ever. Ah, what the act? Okay, so we just keep welcome. running around here real quick. Uh oh, why does he still have a mark over his head? Ah, what do you have for me? You shouldn't. Oh, I think it's because after welcome. we talk to other people, we'll go back to him. I think that could be it. Elms, mail, braces. Tell me what you know about the bodies in the old hostel. That used to be a flop house for mercenaries from out of town. Other than that, I don't know anything about it. Back again, I see. Tell me about the Sura mercenary who came to town. Can't tell you anything about the Sura, I'm afraid. I never get too close to them. When you've been a merchant for as long as I have, you learn when to keep your distance from their kind. Back again, I see. Nope. Come back any time. Everything you need to soothe your wounds. Tell me what you know about the bodies in the old hostel. No idea what happened at the hostel. I used to deliver food there, back before the siege. But I haven't been inside since that Sura warrior went there. I don't think anyone has. Everything you need to soothe your Tell me about the Sura mercenary who came to town. He came through the gates, went to the hostel, and left. That's all I know, really. I was just glad to see him leave town, to be honest. Everything you need to soothe your wounds. Be All right. Safe. Don't worry, folks. We're almost got the first series done. <laughs> Back so soon. Go tell me what you know about the... Bo I can only tell you about the hostel itself, I'm afraid. When your guild hired mercenaries from out of town, they stay there. I think Rabath had a deal with the owner at one point. He might know more. Mm. Back so soon. <laughs> tell me about... I wasn't even in town when it happened. You'll have to ask elsewhere. Back so soon. <laughs> Go Stay safe, traveler. Okay. Best weapons in the outlet. Tell me what you know about the bodies in the old hostel. I don't know anything about that. Ask Rabat. He dealt with the owner. No hand beats. Tell me about the Sura mercenary who came to town. No. I don't know anything about that. You didn't seem to try very hard. Perhaps you need some help remembering. I said I don't know anything. Now, if you aren't buying anything, be on your way. <gasps> so rude. No hun beats me on. May all your endeavors be fruitful. 
Let's see. Oh, he's like the only one we don't gotta go to. Ah, what do you have for me? Did Feirus have dealings with Asura? Other than seeing him talk to that one Sura mercenary that one time, I've no idea. Bring your unwanted goods to me. I'll... Hmm. Think of me when you have goods you do not need. Everything you need to suit. Did Feirus have dealings with Asura? No doubt about it. That Sura definitely gave something to Feirus before leaving town. But if he asks, you didn't hear that from me. Potions, herbs, cheap. Hmm. Take care, friend. Back so soon. <laughs> Did Feirus have dealings with Asura? I wouldn't put it past him, but I'm afraid I've no idea what happened that day. Welcome, welcome. You are always welcome here. Oh no, now we gotta run the far one. Ugh. Trust me, folks, it is worth the payoff. Back again, nice. Did Feirus have dealings with Asura? I don't really know what Feirus gets up to. But he sure had a lot of silver on him that day the Sura was in town. You don't think... No. Forget I asked. I don't want to know. Back again, I see. All right, back again. No hun beats me on... You made a deal with a Sura. Tell me what it was or I'll beat it out of you. Don't hurt me. I just arranged the messenger, I swear. Kench, the woman who ran the hostel, she asked me to get a message to the one-eyed Sura warrior. He paid me in silver for informing him. But I was only doing what Kench asked of me. You have my word. Best weapons in the Outlands are right here. What did Kench want with the Sura? She sold him out. The Ishkai who was living there betrayed him to save her own neck. You wouldn't know to look at her. But Kench broke contracts for mercenaries all around the heretic kingdoms. Before she came to Thol, she hired the one-eyed Sura, but the job went sour. Her employer was slain, and the Sura was never paid. If there's one thing you don't do in the mercenary business, it's well shown a debt to a Sura warrior. I guess she saw her handing over the Ishkai as a way to wipe out her debts. No hand beats me on. Okay. May all your endeavors be so, finally got our answers. Kind of, not really. And now. Usha, come out from whence thee hides. Thou hast misplaced thy trust in thy friend, Kench. She betrayed thee. Yet another letter. So, she did not betray thee. And thou hast guarded her fallen remains since thy death. How touching. Come, spirit. Thy vigil has ended. Join me. Soul is mine now. I suppose it's good to have reinforcements. I shall be glad of a puppet who understands the merits of attacking at a distance. Was that a dig at me? <laughs> Perish the thought. And there he is. Yeah, but oh, that's gonna be a pain trying to hit stuff. Jeez. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's oh, good. He does have stuff. Boy, I wonder what you have to do to get him, uh, it's tough for him. Okay, so we've got landmine. Ooh, that's good. That's a good silence. Okay, so let's do the landmine. And 
token of silence. Oh, stop being a brat. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with durability. Ooh, look at the agility. But he won't highlight anything. Okay. Question is, what happens when we go outside with him? Aww. Okay. You can see he's great out there in the bottom left corner. Okay. So I thought we would do. Oh, what is this? Ah, yes. Heirloom. That we're going to get in the Guild of Steel. Stop infestation. Ooh, now we can use this guy. I wonder if that's going to make... Pathetic. I shall handle this myself. Make a big difference. To you. The um, key that we got from the guard off to the left. That. Would be. Oh. Okay. Ah, got cut up on stuff. Come on now. Out of that web lickers. Hmm. So there was a uh, <clears throat> block on him. Interesting. Oh, no. You all of our powers at once. Huh. Oh, okay. So we're going to wind up getting characters, right? So instead of having the ranger, we're going to get this character. And then I bet you we're going to get a. Uh, I bet we're going to get a wizard very soon as well. All right, so who's going to throw some cash our way, right? Only real thing I did since the last episode was play just far enough ahead to do that, and uh, worked on getting better weapons, armor, that kind of stuff. Basically went through, sold everything off. Alright, see what he's gotta say. What do you need? I rearranged the burial grounds. Should keep the spiders out for a while, at least. Excellent. Here are your fifty coins. You mean two hundred? Here is the one hundred we agreed. Nah, come on. Always a pleasure, Arashad. This will it's hope you buy some time. But it won't end the problem. As long as the queen lives, the spiders will keep returning. Oh, here we go. Please, ask your questions. 
An aphotic queen is worth 500. She is hardly a threat to someone of your might, Kalig. 100 is plenty. There we go. We'll sp split the difference. Let's split the difference and call it 300. Fine, but this is extortion. How long have you known the Guild of Steel, Arishad? Now I just have to find the bitch. You have questions? Uh, yeah, let's, let's finish up with that story. Do you know Kench? She used to run the hostel, didn't she? Honestly, outside the Guild of Silk, my knowledge of the people of Thol gets a little sketchy. Please, ask your questions. Okay. I wonder if you're supposed to be a level five for that. And we're only level three. Let's uh, see if we can do this. So on your way into the burial grounds, if you go in as the demon, you run into another demon and he makes a pact with you. So, <clears throat> I don't know what we get from it, but in one save I said no, the other save, which is this one, I said yes, just now, because I'm curious. I told them not to leave it outside the guild house, but they never listen. All right, so we're going to return to the blind demon right there. It is done. Thou completed thy pact. Fare thee well, cousin. <laughs> Hmm. Hope that doesn't come back to haunt us. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Well, in the next episode, we're all geared. I think we're probably going to go confront our son and get the air room. So please. Like, favorite, and subscribe. As always, thank you so much if you sat through the whole video. You guys are the ones that I tend to listen to the most when you comment. So please, let me know what you guys think. And as always, keep your heads down and your demons up. And I'll see you again very damn soon.